In this lesson, you can learn how to design this beautiful eight steps infographic in PowerPoint. Keys that I am using during the design, you can see at the below bar. Follow these keys and watch the video till the end. I am going to format background and uh, give it some different color. This one, make it little bit light. Go to more color and make it little bit light. Okay. Go to insert and uh, take a rounded rectangle and drag by holding shift alt and uh, let me fix it align center align middle okay and uh, shape outline give a shape uh, uh, i'm going to give it some gradient shape outline white outline okay again take this rounded rectangle and drag it horizontally like this and um, let me fix it by holding alt you can uh, smoothly fix it okay take this anchor point and uh, make it rotate and uh, control d to duplicate it control d to duplicate it again and rotate through this handle by holding shift and uh, let me increase the transparency to see the under shape okay let me fix it merge shape fragment select this one by holding shift and delete sorry select this one and uh, decrease the transparency okay shape outline and uh, i am going to this color to its shape outline shape fill give also this color the recent color here is the recent color this one and uh, place it here on the edge of this over this shape and make it align perfectly control shift c and transfer the effect to the rounded rectangle control shift v okay i am going to give it some shadow effect and uh, i am going to give it this effect transparency round about 75 and 103 size and i am going to make it blur let me okay select both and control g to group it go to insert shape and freeform shape and uh, drag by holding shift and uh, i'm going uh, with the 90 angle from this point i'm going to with the 60 angle and again i'm going to with the 90 angle like this and shape outline make its width four and a shape uh, outline give some def this one color according to the shape select oh sorry and uh, let me delete this one again control d and uh, flip uh, vertically and place it here in a row with the first one shape outline with the first one outline okay and uh, i'm going to again to take a freeform shape this one again by holding shift i am going to with a 90 angle select again with a 60 angle and uh, again with the 90 angle I'm go yes select this one control shift C and control shift V and uh, flip vertically and place it here okay select this one control D and uh, place it here 
control D to place it here. Okay, let me align it perfectly and control D and place it here. Bring to front. Okay. Let me fix it. Select uh, these four shapes. Control G to group it. Control G to duplicate it. And uh, flip horizontally. Sorry. And place it here on the other side of the old shape. Let me place it here and uh, I'm going to fix it uh, from both sides. Bring to front and now I'm going to give all these different colors that I have this palette for eight colors and you can find the color palette in Google. Let me make its shape outline also according to the shape. Through the eyedropper, I am picking this color and uh, shape fill this one. Recent color again, recent color. Select uh, this outline and uh, through the eyedropper, I am going to give it this color. And uh, recent color, yes, and shape fill also this one, the recent color. Likewise, you can change the scalar through the eyedropper and uh, with this and uh, go with the recent color. Okay shape outline this color and uh, shape outline this color recent color again shape fill through the eyedropper i'm picking this dark gray color recent color and again select this one recent color okay let me fix it a little bit let it give uh, it gives a 3d and premium look I'm bringing this text to the slide. Sorry. Again, select Control C and uh, bring it to the slide by Control V. So I am going to put this uh, text at uh, the center of the old shape and uh, make its font size to 24 is okay, and make it bold. I'm going to make it a little bit size to 20, 32. Okay. I'm going to put this text over uh, these rounded rectangle one by one. Control D to duplicate it and uh, place it here. Likewise, control D to duplicate it and put these text over these uh, rounded uh, rectangle shapes and you can add your text here. You can increase or decrease these shapes according to your requirements. Take the text box 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Franklin Gothic Heavy. Hit enter and uh, 
make its size its font size to i think so 40 will be okay take a rectangle and drag a rectangle over these numbers like this and select both fragments let me fix it select both and uh, fragment and uh, i'm going to delete the extra parts okay select this one and uh, delete select this one and delete oh sorry Control z to back and select the inner part of the eight yes shape fill white fill and shape outlined i'm going to also no outline place these uh, numbers over uh, these rounded rectangles on the edge of the rounded rectangle okay i'm going to bring some icons and uh, from this icon tab you can find your desired icon here in the search icon bars just type your text and you will find your desire your required icons here let me select some icons i need eight icons and uh, insert and bring it to the slide okay let me make it little bit small by holding shift alt and uh, place one by one over these rounded rectangle searching customer idea okay okay meeting will go meeting will go here and let me change these icon color according to the shape one by one go to graphic fill and change its color the icon color according to the shape select these uh, rectangle shapes and uh, i'm going to make it smaller by okay let me make it a little bit more smaller and i'm going to bring it to this shape bring us bring to front select and now i am going to make it in a row one by one under the headlines let me fix it sorry control z and let me fix it let me select it one by one by holding shift and make it a little bit more smaller horizontally and uh, align and uh, align top or bottom one of them again select one by one let me place this text here that i am going to make these small rectangles fix it select one by one all the rectangles all the small rectangles 
and uh, go to shape format and uh, distribute horizontally okay and thank you for watching